In this video, we're going to look at how to pan or position audio sources within an Ambisonics mix for VR or 360 video. In this session, I've got audio from three mics that was recorded at the same time as this 360 video. I need to pan these three sources into the Ambisonics mix to match their positions in the video. I'm going to start with an Omni mic that was placed inside the kit near the kick drum. All the sources are positioned into the mix using the Facebook Spatializer plugin. I've got three different ways to position a sound here. I can use the sliders to adjust left right position or up and down position. I can use a top down display to position the source relative to the listener. Or I can use the video display here to position the sound directly into a flattened version of the 360 video. We're not going to worry about distance this time, we'll look at that in another video. But let's use the video display. So if you're listening in headphones, you'll hear that this sound is moving from right to left. I can position all the way to hard right here, and I can actually continue right around behind your head and back in the other side. And we can also position apparent up and down. Now this is quite simple, this mic was placed close to the kick drum, so we'll actually position it visually where it should be. Okay, next we'll look at the other mic, which was near the snare. And we'll position that just behind the snare. Now the last track we have here is an Ambisonics recording made using a Sennheiser Ambio mic. So it's a four channel first order Ambisonics recording. So in this case, when we look at the plugin, my input is B format first order Ambix, which is correct. And you'll see that we have no point position control because the sound here represents a spherical sound field coming from all directions. But we can rotate that sound using the yaw control for left and right, pitch for up and down. and the roll control which should sound like tilting your head. And we can use these controls to align the microphone with the camera. Obviously we tried to get the correct position but we'll never get it exactly right. So I could try and do this by ear but we're actually going to use a tool from AudioEase. So I'm going to add a plugin onto my Ambisonics mix. It's the AudioEase 360 radar plugin. So this is going to add an overlay to my Pro Tools video display which shows the audio energy contained in my Ambisonics mix. In this case, we've just soloed the Ambisonics recording. I'm gonna make this easier to see. I'm just gonna bring the decay down and the sensitivity. Let's just really focus in on those individual hits. So you can probably see this here is our snare and there's a kick drum down here. So with that in place, we can actually adjust the direction of that recording. And as you can see, going right off now. So it actually just needs to come slightly right. pitch down slightly. Okay, with that done, we should now have perfect alignment between sound and vision if I rotate my video display. 